the three of you, Michael Imperioli, wanted to be here very much today. He's been here before. He's our dear friend. He had a scheduling conflict. But you guys are in conversation and on tour together. Yeah. yeah. So that for people that this was a, a big happening for them, you can literally go and be in conversation with you guys, right? Yeah, yeah so we've been doing this show for a couple of years. It's called uh, Comedy and Conversation with the Sopranos. And it's myself, uh, Vinny, and, and Michael Imperioli. And we show slides, and we have questions. And Joey Cola, the uh, warm-up guy. Joey. This is our guy. Isn't he the best? Joey's the best. Joey. An honor, honorary soprano, and he travels the country with us, and we did Australia, and we're doing a European Australia? tour coming up. Uh, oh, my God. Seven so for, cities. You know, the show wow. 20 years, and uh, we have prepared questions, and then we take questions from the audience. So it's it truly a conversation. It, it's a, you know what it is? It's a show. I mean, I tell, I, it's a show. It, it is a really show, but a people show. can actually talk to you and be in, in yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. Quite... You know, and so, you know, <laughs> and it's, it's been going great. I mean, we pack them in everywhere. The, 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 of course you do. In Australia, was just incredible. And uh, it's been great. I mean, we're going to be in Rochester November 2nd, the Kodak Theater. We'll put all of the dates up on, and, uh, on, on the website. You know, but, Syracuse, but... we're going to uh, Atlanta. But we give you a little peek behind the curtain of what it was like to be on possibly the greatest show in TV history. And, it really is. You know, uh, so talk job. to me. I want to hear from both of you guys. Can you give us, you're saying you, you share the special moments with people. Can you each give us either your favorite memory from Jim uh, in working with him or your favorite episode of his or your favorite uh, special moment off camera? You know, Jim, as great an actor as he was, he was a better guy. <laughs> and and I'm not kidding you. He made everyone feel great. It came from the top down, you know. Oh. There was no no problems of any kind. He was a, a sweet, generous yeah. guy. Anybody who had a problem, cast, crew, he was there. You beautiful. Know? Jimmy uh, helped me a lot with my work. I was, you know, I was like a new kid on the block. I mean, <laughs> I started acting late, as well as Steven. And uh, when the nominations came out for the Emmys in the second season, my phone rang at 7 o'clock in the morning, and Jimmy said, you were robbed because I didn't get nominated. Oh. And you don't think that's ever going to happen again, but that's how Jimmy was. He cared so much about all of us. About everybody, the crew. Generous of spirit. Oh, just, you know, the crew and family. And, and there's another thing, uh, Michael, which I didn't know. That's another thing about the show. You're always learning. Even I'm learning stuff new because I wasn't there from the beginning and Michael was a writer. Right, and even and he... when you were are all there at the same time, you don't necessarily work with each other. Right. Absolutely. Exactly, yeah. right. Michael, Michael uh, told me, and I didn't know this, that Jim had paid off numerous people's mortgages. He found out... And, and the people never know to this day that Jim paid off their mortgage. I love that. <laughs> So the final scene, everybody was talking about this today in my office, and I sort of ended it. Actually, we collectively ended it. And I said, well, it doesn't matter because Tony wasn't real. But there was great concern as to what happened in the diner, of course, for the final scene. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, to me, it's obvious, like, <laughs> what, you didn't think that? <laughs> Anyway, I think, I, my opinion, yeah. uh, Tony Soprano is alive and well and living in New Jersey. That's my opinion. <laughs> I don't know if I'm right, but that's my opinion. That's what I would like to believe because I miss Jim Gandolfini yeah. so much. <laughs> what are you I, 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 uh, I didn't watch it the first night because that's the way I am. <laughs> uh, because they killed him off and he's pissed off. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. So you're mad. You're mad. Well, I'm not mad all the time. I'm watching it now. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I felt it that... It took him a while. It took me a while to get over that. I feel <laughs> that uh, David left it open. Yeah. You know? On purpose. Yeah. yeah. And there was so conversations. So the people could do exactly what we're doing. That have that we kitchen were... table talk. That's exactly. right. Now, have the... Oh, yeah, look. We're talking about it now, 20 At years later. kitchen table. Seriously, not a day or a week goes by where someone doesn't, doesn't ask talk that. about it. Okay. 